Bolivia is on the front line of climate change. Physically, as temperatures rise and its environment alters dramatically, and politically because Latin America's first indigenous president, Evo Morales, stands against the richest countries demanding major emission cuts. El presupuesto de Estados Unidos son 687 billones de dólares para defensa. El que quiere destinar para el cambio climático es para salvar la vida, para salvar la humanidad, 10 billones de dólares. Es una vergüenza. Bolivians are living with the effects of climate change every single day. In February 2011, a whole neighborhood in the capital, La Paz, was swept away by a mudslide after days of rain. It destroyed 1,500 buildings and left over 7,000 people homeless. I arrived at the site just days into the relief operation. Well, we can now just see the scale of what, what has happened. It's uh, a whole neighborhood has come down and just taken absolutely everything with it. And we come to the end of the road, literally. Incredibly, nobody was killed in this disaster. So we've come down to see some of the affected communities. Good grief. So look, this is what's happened to the road. The bridge was completely destroyed. It's collapsed. One heavy burst of rain. And this is what you can get. Extraordinary. Both poor and middle class homes were washed away in the deluge. You get a very tiny idea of the force, the scale of the, uh, the torrents of water which must have come down off these hills. Very tiny idea. All around the valley, the homeless are living in makeshift camps. Umberto Blanco and his family were among the first people to lose their house. Esta es la carpita. Sí. Donde nosotros estamos refugiados en este momento. Toda la familia. Toda la familia. Son ocho miembros. Ocho, ocho, ocho miembros. Ocho miembros. Hey. Ah, ahí está mi hijita. Muy difícil. Sí, muy difícil vivir porque sí. eh, sinceramente no es vivir como en casa. Sí, 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 eh, sí, sí. La vida no se nos está haciendo un poco difícil sí. cada sí. día más que pasa. The authorities say it's going to take at least a year to rehouse the people caught up in the disaster. Llovió casi 24 horas, casi 30 horas. Monica Duran escaped across the bridge just moments before it collapsed. Tan grande que lo que hemos perdido, porque nosotros cosa a cosa nos hemos ido haciendo, ¿no? Entonces no es no es un regalo, ¿no? Ladrillo por ladrillo, todos nuestros sueños se fueron cuando se derrumbó la vivienda. For Bolivians like Monica, climate change is a matter of life or death. Lo que deberíamos hacer es eh, no prevenir, ¿no? Para nuestros futuros hijos, para los nietos, para la demás gente que va a venir eh, después de nosotros, ¿no? Entonces. As well as heavier rainfall, Bolivia has suffered from extreme droughts and frosts in recent years and rising temperatures are causing the country's glaciers to melt. Dr. Edson Ramirez has studied the Andean ice caps for 20 years. This is a sequence of satellite image since 75. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. It's Chacaltaya. But in the next years, in 87, uh, Chacaltaya glacier is still there. Uh, 2000. And uh, this is at the present. Uh, Chacalta is gone. It doesn't exist. It's gone. It doesn't exist. It's sad. It's very sad, yeah. yeah. The doctor told me that temperatures have been accelerating since 1974. In the last 30 years, we have an increase of uh, temperature rate. Of 34. So if that was continued, uh -huh. it yes. would be three and a half uh -huh. degrees more. A rise of three and a half degrees, even over a hundred years, would turn much of Bolivia into a desert. Bolivia's indigenous peoples are politically resurgent. 
They're the descendants of Incas and other ferocious groups who fought colonizers. Led by populist president Morales, they're now fighting the industrialized nations. In 2010, Morales called for a court of climate justice, as well as an urgent 50% cut in emissions. Scientists say this, and not the few percent on offer from rich countries, is what's needed to avoid catastrophe. We left La Paz and drove to the foothills of the Andes. Our guide was community leader Faustino Mamani. Faustino here has just told me that one of the villages we're going to go to uh, is one of the most affected by climate change. Pinaya village lies in the shadow of Mount Ilimani, 3,900 meters above sea level. Farming here has hardly changed in centuries. It's not just the lack of water here that's affected the crops. Rising temperatures mean insects and pests can live longer and higher up the mountain. Las plantas están enfermas, las, por ejemplo, estas vacas también tienen infección en los intestinos. Entonces, personas como nosotros también tenemos por ahora, hoy, mucho tos, mucho tos, mucho gripe. Es que es, es, es raro que en esta temporada hay una enfermedad, ¿no? Most Bolivians are indigenous. They say Mother Nature, the Pachamama, is out of balance and climate change is the result. They think they've offended nature when things go wrong. But most of all, they blame the rich countries for causing the changes they see around them. How serious is the situation here now? Have you got enough food to eat this year? These two people are in a terrible situation. They don't have enough food for themselves. Uh, they say that it's not the Pachamama which is at fault, but it's the, it's the West, it's the rich, developed countries, and that we should be helping them, and we should help them adapt to the present changes. The main threat to these mountain communities, though, is the number of people who are leaving because of climate change. Esta es la casa abandonado. En esta casa vivían una familia. Sí, está a tres de tres cuatro personas. And how many houses are there like this in the village? Do you think? Alrededor de unos quince casas o quince quince viviendas. Hay otra casa a aquel lado que se fueron a Argentina. Hay un montón de casas allá que están en La Paz, en, en Chasquipampa. Es triste. This is El Alto, Bolivia's fastest growing urban center on the outskirts of the capital. In the past 10 years, it has doubled to around 1 million people, most of them arriving from the countryside to look for work. Faustino's brother, Mario, left their family village to come here six years ago. Is life much easier here in the city or is it more difficult? Entonces, yo creo que como aquí en la ciudad ya hay un poco, uh, muchas cosas, uh, mucha gente, hay veces ya no hay trabajo, hay veces tenemos que estar um, de aquí para allá buscando trabajo para conseguir dinero. Is it realistic that you could go back and live back in your village? Tal vez por el cambio climático que nosotros no hemos podido permanecer, tal vez no lucharlo, ¿no? Mira, nada no es difícil, no. Yo creo que sería lindo intentarlo porque es una tierra linda. Eso sería mi situación. Nearly all El Alto's residents are indigenous. These are the people demanding a radical new law of Mother Nature 
and in a world first that rivers and forests get the same rights as people. Internationally, Bolivia is demanding the strongest possible UN climate agreements, but it's at loggerheads with the world's richest countries. Foreign Secretary David Choki Huanca says Bolivia speaks for all the world's poorest nations. Si uno sabe que un avión al levantar tiene solamente el 50% de posibilidad de aterrizar en el otro lado, lo embarca su hijo, no lo embarca. No lo embarca. En ese riesgo, con 2 grados centígrados, el planeta tiene posibilidad del 50% de sobrevivencia. Por eso es nuestro, nuestros planteamientos con firmeza. And Chancellor, how can the philosophies of the indigenous peoples of Bolivia, how can they uh, prevent climate change happening? Nuestros abuelos nos han enseñado que nosotros somos parte de una gran familia. Y cuando hablamos de la gran familia, no solamente hablamos de los seres humanos, hablamos de las plantas, hablamos de los animales, hablamos que todos los, todo lo que existe en el planeta formamos una gran familia. Hoy estamos hablando de pura crisis, de pura crisis, crisis energética, crisis financiera, crisis institucional, crisis alimentaria, cambio climático. Frente a esta situación de crisis, podemos los indígenas aportar con estos valores que buscaban el equilibrio. Bolivia is accused of being idealistic and of wrecking a new global climate deal. Its aid has been cut by America and it stands alone in the UN. Yet Bolivia says it is not only fighting for its own survival, but for Mother Earth itself.